uh, I'm, I'm Mexican, you know? So uh, I hope that, like anything, some Mexicans were rooting for me to win this thing. But uh, what I'm saying is that, when I said is that, I don't think that there's enough attention that's been given to amazing expressions of Mexican culture that are happening right now in Mexico. You know, it's a, a, I, I really appreciate and I'm really grateful with all this um, uh, support that I've been feeling from Mexico. Uh, but I, just, I, I, I would love if that same support is, is, is given to some other uh, uh, films that, uh, that are coming out of there with Mexican filmmakers uh, shot in Mexico and with Mexican subject matters. Thank you. We're going to 283 and then 223. Alfonso, over here. Hey. David Blaustein, ABC yes. News Radio. So tell me, what exactly were you thinking at that moment right before they announced your name? And then also talk about how special this is because you essentially made this movie with your boy, your son. Well, what I was thinking, I was thinking of you, David, because uh, you, you, you jinxed me many times. You were like, I said, yeah, 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 whatever. And, uh, uh, but uh, the thing that is, is so fantastic is uh, that it, this is something that Jonas Cuaron began, my son. And uh, he really injected a new energy in my life, in my work. And I'm so happy that now he's celebrating this the way that filmmakers like to celebrate that he's shooting his film in Baja. We're going to 223 and then 252. Hi, congratulations. Uh, hi, Jen thank you. ABC. The first time that you were on stage tonight, you didn't give any speech. Mm -hmm. um, were you risking some uncomfortable conversations if you didn't get back on stage a second time to thank your family and everybody else? Or were you confident that you would have another chance? No, I mean, you don't think so much about the other chance because when you're so used to lose, then <laughs> <laughs> you think that you're going to have another break. But uh, it was good that a, a, a lot of great people that were uh, around that, that make uh, this film happen, particularly from the editorial standpoint, uh, were uh, acknowledged. A part of the editorial thing that, yes, I, I, I said it before that I think is very important is that we are serving performances. And I don't think that enough was said about Sandra's performance. Go to 2.52 and then 15 down. Alfonso, over here, you've got an Oscar in each hand. How does that feel? Uh, balance, heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's fantastic. It's, uh, look, what is fantastic of this, of this evening is that this has been a very long process. And as I say in this speech, yes, it has been a very transformative process for a lot of us involved in the film. And uh, this just marks a closure. And I'm so grateful for, I, I, I'm grateful with gravity. And, 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 and this and the fact that some other members of the artistic team that make the film happen were celebrate, celebrated, it just is, is a joy. Thank you. 15 and then 61. Hi, uh, Landon from the Daily Trojan, down here. 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 <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, first of all, big fan. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, Wonderful to, to see this uh, oh, fulfillment. And, uh, oh, despite the pioneering special effects, the focus of the film is always on its human characters. Uh, was it difficult at all to find that balance to direct your actors while overseeing the technical side at the same time? Well, I was surrounded by an, uh, an amazing group of people that they were really supervising that. Uh, the amazing thing actually is, is not so much the visual effect aspect, but the surprising thing is was Sandra that under the conditions that she was uh, performing, uh, the relationship actor-director was as if we were doing just a scene in a dinner table. So there was no obstacle around all the physicality, all the strain, all the complicated amount of cues that required, and, and, and the amazing amount of make-believe that it was required. It's like she had absorbed absolutely everything. Her power of abstraction was fantastic. So. Uh, no, and not because I did a good job, it's because Sandra is amazing. We're going to 61, Jessica. and then I have to wrap it up with 148. Jessica Carrillo de Telemundo, nuevamente. Hola. Acá, Alfonso, felicidades nuevamente, bien merecido. I and we were, we were so, yeah, 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 sorry. It just, I, I just get so excited to see him up there. 
you know, you, we were talking about the moments like this bring Mexicans together, and it totally do. And in Twitter, you have become a trending topic in Mexico. Everybody's cheering for you. They're even saying, Viva Mexico, guarones. <laughs> so, what does it mean to you? ¿Qué significa para ti que todos los mexicanos nos unamos en este momento? I'm just translating the question. If you can answer in English and Spanish, I would appreciate it. Okay, I'll do my best. But uh, obviously, I'm, I'm so proud. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of that. I'm, uh, I think in Mexican, more specifically in Chilango, is my common sense, whatever that is. And uh, uh, the fact of having, uh, oh, oh, if I did gravity at the end, what I've said is that this doesn't represent Mexican culture or is any, it makes any difference for the film industry in Mexico. That doesn't mean that this is a product of a Mexican who actually uh, developed in Mexico and everything, his way of thinking is completely influenced and dictated by that upbringing. So uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Um, can we, we have to move on. I'm so sorry. We have to wrap it up with 148. Es que tú lo puedes traducir porque si no es mala onda con los demás. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, one, one more, Alfonso. <laughs> one four eight here. Hello. Hi. Tim Masters, BBC News. Could you just say what the incredible success of the of the artists? I know you like to call them of, of the visual effects and the the music and the sound. What that says about the the strength of the British film industry. Well, it's, it's very obvious. Uh, definitely uh, uh, the amazing um, know-how quality and, and sophistication of, of uh, the British film industry make this film happen. I mean, and I'm talking specifically about uh, companies like Framestore or uh, the amazing crew that I work with. This is the third film that I have done in the UK. I have done more films in the UK than in any other country in the world. Uh, and, uh, but again, it's uh, two things. is the British in the film industry, and then is the uh, British film culture. And the amazing thing is that, and the great thing is that uh, the British film culture is in as good shape as the amazing industry right now. And it needs obviously, like Mexico, more uh, venues, more support, uh, and, and more incentives, I think. Thank you. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, guys. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitVix on Twitter or visit HitVix.com.